Hey y'all, this is a Singles Aquarius love reading. Um, I, this is a timeless reading, so I trust it's going to reach you in divine timing. I'm using um, my tarot of sex magic tonight to see what messages want to come out for my single Aquarius out there, specifically the singles out there. Um, I've got two nines out to begin with. Okay. I've got to be careful with this deck and what I show. Okay, but two nines. I've got the nine of pentacles and the nine of wands. Okay. Um, I'm not showing the woman below this man here who is laying down with her eyes closed, breast showing. Um, the nine nine frequency, this is an, um, I was guided to look up the angel number nine nine. Um, I started recording this at nine oh nine. Um, so you may be seeing those numbers and it's about universal love, by the way. So the nine of pentacles is usually single, ready to mingle, single energy, self-made energy. Okay. In this love reading, it's about dominating somebody. This masculine is very dominating. Okay. Um, and then the nine of wands is is my wounded warrior card. Um, and it looks like there's a lot of doubt that the masculine has here. Um, but the feminine is actually like, she's, she's showing a very soft, um, like the card is called caressing. So, um, there is some doubts within a connection here. But I also see uh, the three little birds here stand out to me. And the bird, like the song, The Three Little Birds by, um, what's the name's forgetting. Okay, what is the song, Spirit Help Me? Don't step, singing sweet songs, melody going true. This is my message to you. Don't worry about a thing because every little thing is gonna be all right uh, i've got the ten of cups out here uh, angel number 99 is a great sign about universal love about a belonging to somebody as well ten of cups energy this card is called attachment and what is this woman hand and this man as he's going after this golden cup here she's handing him a fig Okay, um, the fig is, is a symbol of um, an awakening, uh, a collective kind of memory of knowing, of a belonging to somebody. Okay, the fig. And she's offering him this fig here, Ten of Cups, ultimate happiness. Angel number 992, I, I wrote this beautiful quote down in my book of shadows. Um, and so I'm going to share it with you tonight, Aquarius. Okay. Yeah, it's a great sign when it comes to love. I have found the paradox that if you love until it hurts, there can be no more hurt, only more love. That's the wounded warrior kind of quote, but there is a sense of belonging to somebody. He cuts a lock of her hair here. And when we cut somebody's hair, you know, that's. We use hair and rituals and magic and whatnot, but like also like we treasure the hair. Um, so there is a need to uh, cut out the doubt, the scissors here, cut out the energy that no longer serves you. Focus on your ultimate happiness here too. What else wants to come out for my singles, my Aquarius singles tonight in this love reading? You've got, been through something. You've been through some heartache, some pain here. Okay. Three of swords. It's a painful card in this deck. Oh gosh. I hope I don't get, in. I just probably showed too much skin on here. Who knows? This card's called pinching. Mm -hmm. All these black candles. It's, you know, and the harp, he pinches the harp, he pinches her leg here. Okay. 
see that, right? There's a third party here too, so that that is coming to light. Uh, the Gemini energy is coming in your reading as well right now here. Yeah. With the lover's card, there are choices in love for you, Aquarius. It looks like somebody, the masculine here, has been shot by Cupid's arrow. Look at that. Spirit wants you to savor the moment with somebody here. Like, look at this. The two birds eating together, the eight of wands. Like, savoring the moment, connection with nature here. Savoring the moment. If you want me to look up this card? There's a lot of fire here. You could be connecting with the fire sign. And I also have that Gemini sign out here as well. Just want to see what they call this one. I do think they call it eight, uh, the Eight of Wands Savoring. Yeah, Pleasure in and of itself is like the essence of springtime. Savoring eroticism as a pastime allows you some breathing room. So maybe you've taken some breathing room from a connection and now you're savoring a connection again. Like it's... You're savoring these little small moments, eating together, spending time together outdoors. There's a flame on top. There's a flame lit on the ladder, which is about some sort of higher wisdom. What else for Aquarius? What else? What other cards for my single Aquarius in this love story tonight? Yeah, there's the pain. Yeah, and it's right here. Like you, it landed on top of my crystals here, and so I've got my crystal obsidian piece here, my my raven head, and also a large piece of Lemurian smoky quartz. And so it shows that you are in the process of um, releasing pain. There's a third. There's a couple outside this window here. Okay. So there was maybe a third party situation and it came in the reverse. Okay. The worst is over. Start a new ending. Yeah, but there was a lot of heartache. I'm sorry, Aquarius. There's an ending here for sure. And it was painful. Those are like the two worst cards to get. The three of swords, the ten of swords. Okay. Um, somebody was playing some games. Six of wands in the reverse here. Okay. There's a lot of playfulness within this connection, see? It's almost like an Indian. And there's a rabbit on the bottom here and a dove. Okay, and then, yeah, a lot. There are so many cards here that just came out of Aquarius. Holy cow. So you're taking a fresh perspective, that's for sure. I'm trying not to show much, too much skin here on these cards. That's the hangman energy. Look at these sixes. If there's another one here. Another nine, three nines now. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, there's been a lot of fear within a connection to um, Nine of Swords and um, Sleepless Nights. And I wonder what they call this. Three nines. So, nine should be talking to you. Um, and the six is, the other one is the six of swords. It's depicting a couple like rolling around out in nature here, be, be getting out of the office, becoming more playful. Um, and strength card too, like. <laughs> like she's wrestling here with a wild boar. There's a lot of uh, aggressive uh, sexuality here and a lot of playfulness. See, four of wands, there's a lot of fire. Okay, I have Leo energy out here as well. But these three nines, I gotta talk about these three nines. So you're really coming up, you've learned some valuable lessons, some wisdom has been gained, some universal wisdom gained within the, could be a connection from the past here. Um, uh, which, which nine is missing? You know, that's what I always say. When three out of the four come out, it's the nine of cups. It's your wish fulfillment within the connection. But I mean, we started out the reading here with this ten of cups. So it is coming. Um, I do need to see what this nine of swords is they are telling me here. Which is usually fear, you know. Taking some distance to restore harmony. Yeah, there needs... To, I've already talked about that once. 
um, allowing some space and some time for healing. Um, this card is called rubbing. It's like somebody may be rubbing you the wrong way right now. And there's a need to take a break, take some space. Like the black cat's rubbing the legs here. He's rubbing her, right? Okay. Um, taking some distance to restore harmony. Exciting to appease desire. Giving up oneself to let mystery die. Even the world of love is the fruit of paradoxes. What? Okay, now the second time I talked to you about paradoxes. That's no, that's not a coincidence. I have found the paradox that if you love until it hurts, there can be no more hurt, only more love. Your heart only ever expands, my love. I'm going to leave it there tonight. I'm, yeah, you're taking a fresh perspective about love. You're healing your heart. And there's new love coming into your life with the wheel there as well. Okay, a new cycle in love beginning. There's a lot of playfulness here. Yes, there is. In these three images, I hope they can, yeah, there's a lot of playfulness. Somebody sees you, somebody is passionate about you, somebody wants to travel with you, get it, do adventurous things with you, be playful like a child. Four of Wands is also a sacred marriage connection, okay? So, that's what I got for you tonight, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed this singles love reading. And definitely um, pay attention to those nines. And um, I love you guys. Bye.